What's cooking everybody? It's Dor, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can get a free S-Class Capital Freighter in No Man's Sky. This guide is for you if you've just started and do not have a freighter yet, or if you want to start a new save file. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as soon as you feel comfortable in doing so, start mining the materials needed to be able to craft 5 warp fuel cells, head into space and start warping. On your 5th warp, a scripted freighter battle is taking place and the captain will ask you to help them. Do so and destroy all pirate ships attacking the freighter. When the attackers have been defeated, the captain will invite you onto the freighter. Enter and make your way up to the captain. He will reward you with two options. The first being the freighter you had just saved for free, and the second being a payment instead. Make sure to choose neither and leave the freighter. Now these freighter battles occur 3 hours apart from each other and every 5 jumps. Make a save and quit to the main menu to see your total playing time and take note if needed. I would recommend to fill this time by making your way through the main storyline as you will need access to the anomaly. Once you have access to the anomaly, just summon it and enter it. Go to Iteration Hyperion and unlock the economy scanner for 150 nanites. Do note that you need to unlock the teleporter receiver first, making the total cost 300 nanites. Alternatively, you could also unlock the teleport receiver by completing the third mission in the base computer archive side quest. Make sure that 3 hours of gameplay have passed and go to the milestones tab in the menu. As I had to make a warp in the story mission, my total warps is now at 6, meaning I will have to make 4 more jumps for the next freighter battle to spawn. Craft enough warp cells and make a manual save, just so you are able to reset if anything doesn't go as planned on the next steps. Get into your starship and open the galaxy map. With the economy scanner installed, you have the option to expand the view and see the wealth type of the system. You want to make sure your last warp lands on a rich system as they have the best odds of spawning an S-Class freighter. Wealthy systems are unfortunately not always marked as wealthy, but could be any of the on-screen options. Make sure to pick systems with many systems nearby as this will increase your chance of having a wealthy system within warping distance. Start warping and go into the space station in each system to create an autosave and fly out again. Rinse and repeat until your final jump. For the final jump, warp into the wealthy system and have a look at the type of freighter. The scripted spawn we had earlier is always a regular freighter, but this time it's always one of two capital freighters. The Sentinel family, as visible right here, or the Venator family. If you like the way it looks, fly into the space station to create an autosave. If you do not like it or want to see what other systems have to offer, just reload the autosave created in the previous system and warp towards another rich system. If there isn't one nearby, reload the manual save and restart the entire process. 
When you found your dream freighter, fly out of the space station and help the freighter in need. It's very important here to not hit the freighter or the other ships helping it, as they might turn on you and then you're really gonna have a hard time. While I'm fighting off these pirates, I want to ask you to please leave a thumbs up if you found this video helpful, comment and subscribe to support me in the channel so I can continue to make future No Man's Sky content for you to enjoy. Once you've beaten all the pirates, the captain will invite you once again to enter the freighter. You also do not have to accept this communication, just fly towards the freighter and enter it. You can use your scanner when inside to see the class of the freighter. In this case, it's a nice A class, but I would personally reload your autosave and retry until you have an S class. But I will go to the captain anyway to show you that it is in fact completely free. Do note that you do not have to respond to the incoming message of the captain, just shoot the pirates attacking it. Now I'm not going to lie, it may take you minutes, it could also take you hours of reloading and fighting off pirates before you land yourself an S-Class freighter. But as of the desolation update 2.6, you can expand your freighter's inventory and the maximum amount of slot varies per class. S-Class, of course being the highest in class, can be extended to 48 inventory slots and 21 tech slots. Next to this, there is also quite some difference in the max warp drive range when upgraded. The max for an S-Class being over 6000 light years. For me, this nice S-Class appeared on my 15th reload, and as you can see, it's completely free and yours to enjoy. Thank you so much for making it this far into the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. If you really did, please subscribe. And if not, well, I hope I get to convince you in the next video.